On today's edition of the Thousand Food Family, we are eating the Barle Doc Confiture de Grossailles. Butter. Nope. Jelly. Jam. A white currant jam. Supposedly the best in the world. That little jar, hold it up, was $45. So the reason this jam is so expensive is that it's made of white currants, which is becoming more rare apparently, but the seeds are taking, taken out by hand with Not a nice. goose quill, and so it takes a long time to get this perfect jam. Okay. I did what I did do. Here, take it. Mm. Pretty good. F Fifty dollars good. And guess what? Why do they make it that? Cause it. Why do they call it okay. jam? It tastes like honey. Guys, it only tastes like honey, right, Dad? Yeah. It tastes like honey. You like it, Miles? Is Why it do yummy? we call it honey? Oh. I'm reading the instructions. So you can still see the orbs of the currants. Orbeez. Elliot thinks they look like orbies. What are orbies? Uh, these little bars that you can squish them and they're really fun to play with. That's pretty cool. Let's try some on a croissant. Do you like it on the bread? It's even better. It's a good breakfast. Mm. I thought this was really good, but it was really sweet. Almost too sweet, so I'm cutting mine down a little bit with some cream cheese on the croissant. Um, yeah, this is really good stuff. Those are Santa pictures. <laughs> My favorite one is 2018. No, 2017. That's a pretty good one. I think you were right about the cream cheese. And I think you could use something like cream fresh, clotted cream, or um, plain yogurt. But I do feel like I want something to kind of cut that sweetness. But the jelly or the jam by itself is. Yeah, it's really good. When we had currants, if you go back and watch the episode where we had fresh currants, they were red currants. But I couldn't imagine how many currants would have to go to making this tiny jar because they were like as big as my pinky fingernail. And yeah, just very labor intensive.